two days before delivery my husband and i decided to go for a walk because they said when your delivery date is coming you should exercise often to help the baby seems to get that many Exercise One day before my delivery date at exactly 10 p.m. My water broke. We rushed to the hospital and though level had not started yet We just had to go to the hospital because they said when your water broke just go to the hospital So we spent the night in the hospital and at exactly 3 a.m. That was when Lebo started. I started feeling some pains. So my husband was trying his possible best to, you know, record because he knew that I was going to need these videos. It's not easy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so the contractions were increasing and increasing and the midwife told me to move. So you can see my husband and I moving. This amazing human was really supportive throughout this pregnancy till the last date i applaud him for that so you guys can see us moving around the hospital they said you have to do exercises so that you prompt the baby to come or you push the baby to come and i'm sure you guys are going to see another pregnant lady behind me trust me pregnancy is not easy but it's a beautiful thing but it's not actually easy so this is actually my resting position you guys are going to see my resting position after this then after the contractions became worse so they told me that i had to eat to get energy you know for the delivery process so you guys are going to see me eating and also making some moves because of contractions so i had a lot of support from my friends as you can see my bestie is here my husband my mom-in-law my mom was on her way like i had so much support around me and it was really i was i felt really blessed having them and my mom was always calling every minute telling me don't shout make sure you just breathe in and out so you guys can tell that i wasn't shouting i didn't shout at all i was just breathing in and out like she said because she said if i was going to shout i was going to lose energy and i didn't want to lose energy so because i was not shouting i was breathing in and out a lot of people thought i was not in pains which i was in serious pains guys i didn't know i was going to be this strong but trust me i was really really strong and plus i was following my mother's rules because not shouting really helped me a lot. I was just breathing in and out whenever the contractions came. Hello. 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 Yeah, yeah, you yeah so the contractions became worse and worse and worse and unbearable in fact i'm just going to skip to the part where my baby my joy is here because all of these parts are so so emotional for me we have to add our own bed dinner mm. we have to add our own bed dinner bed also
Asha, it's okay. Asha. I get it. 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 Asha. Hey mom, senyanga, senyanga. The door, the door. It's a very lady with the men yanga. Just open your eyes. Baby, my beautiful baby. Please don't even start. Don't even start, madams. There, there you have it. An excited mom and an excited dad. And then finally my mom came. She was traveling all the way from Bamenda. And everybody was so jolly and happy. So I'll see you guys in my next video. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye. Wow, mommy, you're not going to